Now we present how to install your year-around model of Ecolec composting toilet with biological filter. Before installation, please read the written instructions carefully. Put the composting unit's lid to its location and start with looking into which direction the ventilation and sewage pipes run, to which wall it is useful to install the liquid pump. The pressure hose of the liquid pump is mounted to the white connector on the lid. Mount the liquid exhaust hose to the base of the liquid tray. Secure the connection with glue and hose strap. Put the steel cross with wheels to its place so that the wheels can be maintained also afterwards. Clean the liquid tray from dirt, apply glue to the edges of the tray and press the piece of the sewage pipe against the tray so that the hole at its side shall remain just over the edge of the tray. Make sure there is glue everywhere at the joint of the tray and the sewage pipe. Push the liquid pipe through the sewage rim and press the vertical pipe to its holders. Close the holders. You shall hear a clear click when they, when they are locked. Tighten the pipe's bushing with glue. Attach the liquid hose to the liquid pipe. Lift the steel hoop and the tank inside it to its place over the wheels and make sure that the liquid discharge valve on the lower edge of the tank is in closed position. Make sure that the tank is well leveled in every direction. Put lifting plates under the feet if necessary. Glue the rest of the liquid pipe to its place so that the longer pipe shall be in a horizontal and the shorter one in a vertical position. Push the transparent vascular tube over the T-profile so that the hole in the middle shall be right over the surface and remains downwards when mounted. Push the T-profile to the loops of the air deflector. Put the T-profile over the tank so that the side of the air deflector is seen when looking through the inspection hole on the side of the tank. Lift the composting sectors to their places on top of the T-profile and the liquid compartment. Tighten the sectors slightly to each other using a tightening strap. Rotate the tank and try to move the sectors against each other so that its upper part sways as little as possible. Tighten the tightening strap and fix the upper edges of the sectors with screws using ready-made drilled fixing holes on one side of each sector. Fill the central hole of the composting unit with the filler pieces of the biofilter. Put the liquid distribution plate into its place and the lid on top of the biofilter. Put sealing strip into the upper joints of the sectors so that possible flies cannot go from the side of the solid waste into the liquid tank. Fill the narrow cracks with glue. Tape the seal to the edge of the steel hoop. Lift the steel hoop to its place so that the seal is on the lower edge. If the hoop does not fit correctly, remove small pieces of the seal evenly from different sides until the hoop fit fits. Make sure that all the cracks on the upper edge are closed with sealer or glue. A 
attach a metal strip with holes around the center of the composting unit. The ends of the strip are connected with a bolt, pushing it from outside inwards. Push short T profiles to the two lower edges of the sectors. Move the tightening strap over the lower part of the hatches and fix a metal strap with holes around the lower edge of the sectors, as you did earlier in the middle. Lift the lid to its place and mark the location of the ventilation pipe's outlet collar for the, the outlet pipe. Saw a hole for the lid's outlet pipe stamp according to markings. Apply glue to the edges of the output collar of the ventilation pipe so that when the collar is placed, glue is pressed between the collar and the lid. Output collar shall be fixed to its place with four screws. Lift the lid to its place by simultaneously pushing the head of the liquid hose beneath the lid into the hole in the middle of the lid of the biofilter. Attach the liquid hose to the liquid pump using glue and tightener. Attach the pressure hose to the liquid pump using glue and tightener. Feed water into the pressure hose for about 60 to 100 liters so that upon start up the pump shall suck liquid instead of air. Fix the pressure hose and cabling to the wall so that the rotating tank shall not come into contact with them. Attach the pressure hose to the hose connection in the composting unit's lid using glue and a hose straightening strap. Mount the lids of inspection hatches to their places over the composting unit. Apply dots of glue and then sealing tape between the compartment seams. Put a few centimeters of peat or old compost to the bottom of all sectors. The liquid exhaust hose in the floor groove is connected to the household's sewage. Connect the pump's power cord to the socket on the composting unit's lid and mount a clock switch in between so power is supplied for 15 minutes at the 15 minutes interval. Your composting toilet is installed. Installation of the toilet seat and ventilation pipe is presented in another video.